Hi guys, it is Monday, January 13th, and I'm going to do the Project Chronicle tag. Chris Weir did a video, I will link down to it in the description, um, and he tagged everyone who's participating or has participated in uh, Project Chronicle. So let's get down to it. Question one, why did you decide to participate in Project Chronicle? A few days before I left on my honeymoon, I got an email from uh, Chris Weir, and it kind of explained what Project Chronicle was and uh, if I was interested and to kind of just gave me a few links and I looked into it. And I was living on my honeymoon and I thought, you know, next year we're moving and we just had the wedding and life has been so crazy, I just want to relax and not do anything, so I wasn't going to do it. And we left on our honeymoon. I started thinking about it, but actually doing a video every day. And I found myself coming up with ideas for videos, thinking of different games that I would want to try on this channel. And I kept thinking about it, and I kept thinking about it. I talked to my husband about it. He told me that if that was what I wanted to do, that sounds like a great idea, and he think it'd be fun, and he'd fully support me, and that was great. So I thought, well, you know, maybe not next year. Maybe, you know, 2014, I really should just relax. Maybe I'll do it in 2015. And then I got home. And I watched the video that he linked me again. And I realized we're going through a lot of big changes over the next year. And going back and watching the videos around the time I was doing all the wedding planning from 2013, I realized how wonderful and how awesome it would be to have essentially a time capsule of everything that's going to happen in 2014. And I went, okay, I'm going to do it. I am going to do a video every day of 2014. Question two, what aspect of your vlog slash yourself would you like to see improved through daily vlogging? I'd like to see myself become a better homemaker. Um, it's something that I get a decent amount of crap for, but I definitely enjoy homemaking. I enjoy cooking. I enjoy some cleaning. Um, I enjoy mending, I enjoy sewing, I enjoy baking, um, ironing is, ironing and cleaning bathrooms are two of my favorite household chores. I guess I, I'd like to hopefully slowly see myself have a more organized household, more efficient household, I guess. Question three, how and when did you decide to become a nerd fighter? Officially 2011, but I'll give you the story of kind of how I got introduced to the Vlogbrothers. So we have these really good friends. They showed us Hank's uh, joke videos. They were hysterical and I thought they were so funny. Both me and my husband did. A few months later, I looked them up on my own and I went, oh, they have all these other videos. And I saw Hank Green's Harry Potter songs and I lost my head. And I saw John Green ranting about pennies and I thought that was the funniest thing. And then um, when I was building my first incarnation of Hogwarts in Minecraft, I'm currently on my third, but that's a whole other ball of wax. Um, I put on the playlist and I just had it going while I was building and I just, I fell in love with it. I fell in love with the style and I fell in love with how nerdy these people were and how they weren't apologizing for it. And they had opinions that made sense and they had ideas that were really cool. Probably in about, I'm going to say early 2011. I really became a nerd fighter. What is one way you remember to be awesome? I don't know how to answer this, so I'm gonna just kind of throw out something that I'm really good at doing, which is I remember birthdays. I will send you a text or I will I will sometimes hop on Facebook, but I have no other way of getting a hold of you or I'll mostly most often do a phone call. That's something that I think with Facebook can become hard to do because you're so involved in so many people's lives. I always feel very special when someone remembers my birthday. There's something very personal about it, and so I always try and remember people's birthdays, so we'll say that's it. Finally, what is the most important thing? I'm gonna go with understanding. The reason I feel that it's important is because you and a friend can disagree on something, but the I find the best discourse can happen when you understand why they have that viewpoint. I think the best discourse can, under, can come, the best and most 
thought-provoking conversations can come when you can understand that person's viewpoint. You don't have to agree with it. If you can understand why they think that, where they're coming from, you know, what's leading them to draw that conclusion, <clears throat> you don't have to agree with it. But if you can understand it, you can have, I find, very powerful and deep discussions just by taking five minutes to leave your own head and understand them. So that's it for the Project 14 tag. Thank you to Chris Weir for tagging me in that. I should also note that this week's theme, so today into Sunday, is guilty pleasures. And one of my guilty pleasures is doing these long tag things. So there's the first one. I'm going to do a different guilty pleasure of mine every day this week. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Have a beautiful day.